Yeah, what's up everybody once again and this video is really just to get everybody to understand the purpose of this channel but even more so how to make the most of the information on this channel. To start let's consider the fact that Branding and marketing, understanding how to brand and market yourself creates a level of freedom like you can't imagine. But we'll get to that a little bit later at the end of the video. But first, I want to point out the fact that if you want to use this information, don't do it all at once. Take a lot of notes or just take in the information however you want to. But when you decide to execute something, don't do too many strategies and tactics and all of those things at once. Because if you throw five ingredients in the pot at once and then it tastes better, how do you know which ingredient made it taste better? Or if something got messed up, how do you know which thing you did to make things taste worse? So you want to really not do everything at once just so you understand what's working and why it's working as you start to do it in relation to your particular brand. And secondly, be open to learn from all of the musicians and artists and just things that get covered because even if you don't like an artist, Personally, some artists you just might not know, but even if you don't like a particular artist or their genre, you better believe that you can learn from some of the things that they're doing, particularly if they're successful or some of the failures, and then use them to do what you're going to do a lot better. As a matter of fact, most innovation comes from taking things from one area to a, another area and then applying it there. Because you better believe a lot of people in your lane are already doing very similar things. So sometimes it might be taking somebody from a completely different genre or like some of their marketing tactics, not necessarily their songs or their, their sounds, but just some of the marketing tactics that are very common in one field, put them in another field, and then next thing you know, bam, people are like, wow, this guy's a genius. Of course, it can be done with music when you have rappers that sing or country music uh, people that rap, and I don't know, just there's, it, it, there are loads of examples out there, and people get big off of that, but just keep that in mind. Learn from as many of the people as you can. And back to that idea of branding and how it creates that freedom. You either know who you are or you know who you want to be or a little bit of both, but branding has nothing to do with who you think you are particularly. It's more particular to how people see you. But when you understand branding, you can get people to see you in the same way that you see you or they can see you in the same way that you want to be. Once you control that outside perception, then you're free to move throughout the world and be that person that you want to be. And then marketing is simply that idea of getting as many people to see you as possible. So when you combine those, that marketing and branding piece, you're getting as many people as possible to see you how you want to be seen through that specific lens. And also understanding that will allow you to continuously evolve and become whoever you want to become next because maybe you might get tired of being whoever you are at the time. Keep that in mind because people say all oh, this talent is in the graveyard because people haven't used it, yada, yada, yada. But let's consider the fact that there's a lot of talent that got used, a lot of songs that got made, but people never heard them because they didn't understand marketing and how to get as many people to hear them in the first place. That's it. You know what to do. Hit that subscribe button.